And I'm Claudia, and this is a fast-paced cardio workout. Today's routine can be performed with just your body weight only. But if you want to add a little resistance, feel free to grab a pair of light hand weights, water bottles, or even soup cans. Follow me for the standard moves. And follow me for some easier modifications. If you're ready to go, then let's do it. Let's begin with the warm up. First one for today is going to be a step back and reach. Start with your feet shoulder width apart. We're going to step back with your right leg and reach to your left side up and across. Now come back, this time reaching to your right side and stepping back with your left leg. Alternating sides, right and then left. Not a race on this one. This one's going to loosen up your hip flexors, quads, a little bit of your thoracic spine and shoulders. Multiple body parts getting loosened up and warmed up on this one. I'm not going to count any repetitions today. And the point of this move here and this warm up is just to increase your overall body temperature as well as warming up your muscles and joints. Making sure to breathe throughout. Getting a nice big reach. Looking up at that hand as you reach up and across. And depending on your fitness level, you may want a little bigger step back, or you might be good with a, a shorter one. You go ahead and decide what's right for you today. But we're gonna move on here in five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, moving into an upper body move next, specifically for your shoulders and back. Let's do an upright row. Start with your feet shoulders apart, shoulders are back. Bring those elbows up. Now we're going to do a rotation. Flip those hands around and now reach up overhead. Bring the elbows back down now in reverse direction. Hands down. So those elbows up, rotate over and reach and back down, reverse it. A great one to warm up those shoulders, those rotator cuffs. Gain that extra mobility. Get them ready for this action that is on the way. Gonna be a good one. It is. I plan on Excited. sweating up a storm. Let's see if I can. I'll probably break a sweat in this warm up, honestly. <laughs> All right. Keep your shoulders back, full range of motion, and breathe. Not much left on this one. Make sure you're getting a big reach up at the top for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, next one, we're going to loosen up your posterior chain, which is your lower back, hamstrings, and glutes. At the same time, keeping your heart rate up a little bit. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width. Toes are pointed out. A little bend in those knees. We're going to do a posterior swing. Swing those hands between your legs, pushing your hips back, and then hands up overhead onto the balls of your feet. So it might take you a couple repetitions to get into the flow of this one. Keep that back straight as you come down. And as you come down, really driving those hips behind you and just driving your glutes behind you like you're trying to touch the, uh, the wall behind you with your glutes. That's right. So definitely hinging and not turning this into a squat. Right. We're not coming down and squatting down the major bend at the knees, but instead it's all in those hips. Hips back, hips forward, and then coming up onto the balls of the feet, loosening up those calves. We're going to do a lot of dynamic moves today. Keeping this one up, making sure to breathe. And again, going at a nice warm up pace. Whatever that looks like for you. Faster than us, might be slower than us. It's gonna be up to you to make this work out your own throughout today's routine. Keeping this one up here for just five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. 
Okay, warm up is complete. Let's do it. You ready for this? I'm ready. ready for this? Okay, if you are using hand weights, uh, like dumbbells, water bottles, two cans, whatever it may be, go ahead and take the first one. Yep. Or if you just want to use your body weight, totally cool as well. We're going to do a side raise plus run in place. It's a 30 second uh, set. We're getting as many reps in as we can. Yep. Here we are. I'm ready. Three, two, one, zero. It's showtime, everybody. Making sure to breathe, hot feet, get as many steps in as you can. Keep those palms facing down. Bring your arms up and out so they're par up parallel to the ground. You got it. And again, throughout today's routine, it's gonna be up to you to make it your own. By increasing the weight, lowering the weight, whatever that may be. Breathe and move. Here we go. Here we go, Not guys. In three, two, one. And break. All right, right into the next one. We're yes. going to do a dumbbell punch out. Feet shoulder width apart, weight back in your hips. Palms are facing one another. Good posture. Pushing out and pulling back. So it's not just about the push, but also the pull back from the elbows. That's right. How fast can you go? That's it. Getting as many as you can. Today's workout is going to work both your upper and lower body. So it is a cardio workout, but we're getting the whole body involved today. That's it. Feel that heart rate coming up. It's working. We can feel it. Come on. Breathe. All right, guys. Here we go. we got five more seconds. That's it. Push to the end. In three, two, one, zero. Okay. You set the hand weights down for the next one. A little footwork move here next. I'm going to go do a forward and back jump. Lighten on the balls of my feet. I'm actually going to do a one, two, three, four. She's stepping forward and stepping back. You decide if you want to do the jump or the step. Hot feet, hot feet. Everything you got. Like you're stepping over an invisible line. Either way, moving those feet as fast as you can. My version is a little bit higher impact than Claudia's. But choose accordingly for your needs. Either way. Hot feet, hot feet. That's it. Same. Either way, get as many quick, quick, light ground contacts as you can. Come on, pushing that thing, pushing it. Keep a little bend in those knees. Go guys, you got five seconds. That's it, fight you to the end for three, two, one, zero. All right, we need, if you're using your hand weights, we need just one for the next one. We're gonna do a knee chop, feet are staggered, one uh, leg back, both arms up on that one dumbbell. So pull in and chop, contracting those abs and crunching as you bring that knee up and in. Fast pace, get it going. Again, breathe. Step that leg back every time. Extend those arms up overhead on every rep. It's like you're, you have a big watermelon in your hands and trying to break it over your knee. Breathe, crunch those abs, get them engaged. Another total body move here. Lower body, upper body, abs all getting hit. Here you go guys, you got five more seconds on this side and then we're switching. Switching in two, one, Zero. Same move. Just switch which leg is in front. Get right into it. Try to eliminate that downtime. Keeping the pace up right here. As this workout progresses and it gets tougher, it's going to be just that much more important for you to focus on what it is that brought you here today. Whatever your goals are, whatever it is that motivates you, focus on it. Keep it at the front of your mind. Okay, here we go. In three. Two, one, and zero. Excellent. All right, you can set your dumbbell or hand weights inside if you're using it. We don't need it. We're going to do a lateral one, two, three. So we're going to take three steps laterally. One, two, three, then to the opposite side. One, two, three. Get into it a little faster as you get more comfortable. And I'm actually just going to be doing the steps. So I'm not going to be doing the high knee like Coach Kozak. Simply moving my feet, one, two, three, from side to side. You decide which one is more appropriate for you and maybe you start with the harder one and eventually you need to move on to the easier one. Either way, just making it your own. As you get comfortable with the move, pick up the pace a little bit. That's it. Making sure to breathe. Don't hold that breath. You know, nice little rhythm here. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's right. Here we go. Top is an arm and legs working together. Guys, you have five more seconds on this one. Make it count. Let's go. Two, one, and zero. All right, if you're using hand weights, picking them back up. 
Next one's an upper body move. Feet shoulder width apart. Bend over 45 degree angle. We're gonna do bend over row. Pull back on those elbows. Back down. Now fly. Pulling back and apart. Row. Fly. Row. And that's the move. Fly. Right? Getting that's right it. into it. Making sure to breathe, alternating between the two. On that row, you're just pulling straight back on the elbows and on the fly, keeping a slight bend in those elbows as you pull apart and squeeze the middle of your back. Keep making sure to not hold your breath, but keep breathing throughout. Keep it moving, let's go. How many can you get? Pushing yourself right here. Five more seconds. Pushing yourself because nobody else can or will do it for you. Two, one, and zero. All right, we're moving into a full jump rope plus run in place. So we're moving our hands just as if we have a jump rope. And then we're running in place with the hot feet. Again, you decide if you want to use hand weights for this one or just your own body weight. And also decide at what pace you can keep up on that. That's right. <laughs> run in place. Either way, pushing yourself right here. Defeating the you who couldn't do it yesterday. Not competing with us, competing with yourself. Getting a little bit better every day. Right here, come on. Grind it out, has been tried. What do you got? Let's go. Move, move, move. Don't hold your breath, whatever you do. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, hand weights to the side. We're moving to the floor for a classic killer move. We're moving into a traditional mountain climber, starting in the high plank position, bringing those knees up. And I'm actually gonna do the mountain climber, but I'm gonna be doing the toe tap, and then right back down. So you decide which pace is appropriate for you. Keep your core tight, slight bend in your elbows. This one's working your shoulders, triceps, abs, and legs. Everything. Everything. All getting hit at the same time. And chest. Come on. Keep it up right here. What'd you come here for? Remind yourself, what are you working towards? What is it? What's it gonna take to achieve it? Come on, stay focused on it. Right here, right here. here. In five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, Woo. back on the feet. Keep it going, has been tried. Grabbing our hand weights if you're using them. Feet are shoulder width apart. Moving into a front squat plus push your weight back in your hips, full squat. And then as you stand up, Drive those dumbbells, hand weights, water bottle, soup cans, or just your hands straight up overhead. Every time we perform that squat, we're sitting back, putting our weight in our hips, keeping our feet flat on the ground. And then you're using that energy from your legs to blast those weights or your hands straight up overhead. Keeping your knees out, head up, chest up, and core nice and tight. And breathe. Breathe in on the way down and exhale on the way up. Come on, big power. Right here, right here. What do you got? Make it count, has been tried. Where you at? Let's go. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Nice work. Excellent. All right, holding on to your hand weights for the next one. Moving into a bent over punch out. Bent over, 45 degree angle, and we're punching straight down. Making sure to rotate those hands, bring them all the way back up to your chest, and breathe. Core stays tight. And this is more of an upper body cardio move, but your legs are gonna be engaged just to hold you in this position. That's it, come on, big power right here. Let all that stress out right here. Whatever's weighing you down, give it up. Let's go, come on. Let's go ahead, but try. What do you got? Finish this one strong. Here we go, guys. In three, two, one, zero. Nice, okay, I wanna do a faux jump rope on one foot. And I'm gonna do the faux jump rope on both feet. You decide which one's right for you. I'm gonna switch halfway through. Either way, we're staying light on the balls of our feet, keeping a slight bend in that knee, trying our best to avoid heel contact. Yep. Very important, keep that ball of foot all on that calf. You're a bouncy ball, not a rock. That's it, and switch if you're doing the one leg. Keep it up, keep it up, come on, hot feet. How many little light touches can you get right here? That's it, come on. Breathe. Not much left, guys. And move. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we have a 
Olympic weightlifting inspired move next, one arm dumbbell snatch. Feet are shoulder width apart, bend over using your hips as a hinge and then bring that dumbbell, that elbow straight up as you swing that dumbbell up overhead. So pull up on that elbow and then flip that dumbbell up overhead. Pull them with your back using those legs and we're just moving. Again, it's about getting as many in as you can. Not about using a lot of weight on this. It's about speed. Speed and consistency. How many can you get? That's it, come back, repeat this routine, and try to get just a few more than you did the first time. How much longer, guys? Let's go. Oh, grind it out, grind it out. And five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Just one hand weight if you're using it for the next one. Moving on to a switch jump plus twist. Feet are staggered stance. This hand weight is on the side of that front lead leg. And I'm going to switch and jump. And I'm doing the step back. So I'm just stepping back with the opposite leg and twisting into that stationary leg. The moves are basically the same, but mine is a little more dynamic. Our pod is a little more lower impact. That's right. You decide what's right for you at this point in time in the workout depending on what you got left. Come on. Good stretch in those obliques. That's it. Working your legs, your balance, agility, athleticism, your core, all working right here, right now. Let's go. Have much longer, guys. Get after it. Keep that pace up. Don't slow down. Let's go. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, I'm gonna pick up my second hand weight for this next one. I'm actually gonna just use my body weight here. We're doing an arm crossover, and at the same time, I'm gonna do a leg crossover. And I'm actually doing the modified version of that one. So just using one leg, crossing my arms over one another. And then side to side with a butt kick. That's right. So you decide if you wanna do a more dynamic version, I'm crossing over opposite arm and leg, alternating which arm is on top, and which foot is in front. Come on, let's go. Let's go ahead, Fit Tribe. Where are you at, where are you at? Right there working with you. All right guys, you have five more seconds. Here we go, finish this Three, strong. two, one, zero. Whew, all right. Hand weights are back up if you're using them. Both arms straight up overhead. I'm gonna do an overhead high knee. And I'm actually gonna do an overhead march. If you decide what's right for you, we get those arms up. That's right. And get those legs moving right Get here. those knees up. If you're doing the march, do the best you can. They're both tough. Neither one is easy. But just keep moving. Remind yourself what brought you here today to begin with. That's right, guys. What is it? What are you working on? Get after it right here. Keep Come your on. core nice and tight. Remembering to breathe through the movement. Almost there. Almost there. That's right, guys. And five. Four, three, two, one, and zero. Nice. Okay, so now's your time to take a big deep breath, grab a drink of water, a towel, whatever it is that you need. Give yourself a pep talk. That's it, maybe a pep talk. So it's a 20 second break in total. We're starting right back from the beginning into that side raise, run in place. Get moving here in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Run in place. Bring those hands out, arms out to parallel to the ground. Are you familiar with the movements? We want to see you give it your all in the second round, guys. That's it, less indecision. So that means these transitions are going to go faster and we can pick up the pace a little bit. Right here, what do you got? Put it all out there. Every set, every rep, every repetition can get you just that much closer to your goal. Yes. Come on. All right, here we go in three, two, one, and zero. Ooh, all right, let's keep those shoulder burn going. Feet are shoulder width apart. Dumbbell punch out. Punch out and pull back. Get those arms out parallel to the ground. Palms are facing in. Straight punch out and then pull back from the elbow. So it's not just all about the punch. Equally as important to pull back those dumbbells, hand weights, water bottles. Yes. Keep whatever that it is core you're using. Nice and engaged throughout the entire movement. That's it. Keep it contracted. Come on. Let's go. Burn so good. That's right. We're right there with you. Let's go. Not much longer, guys. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ah, all right. Hand weights are down. 
A little agility move next. I'm going forward and back. And I'm doing one, two, three, four. So just pretend like you have a line in front of you, either jumping over and back or stepping over and back. Pick whichever one's appropriate for you. But keep it moving. Yes. We're at Hazard Tribe. We're right there working with you, step by step, feeling that same burn you're feeling. Just stay strong. Let's go. Come on. You're a fighter, not a quitter. A little bend in those knees, soft, light touches. Come on. Keep it up. Keep it up. Here we go, guys. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. One hand weight needed for the next one. If you're using it, we're going into a knee chop. Feet are staggered. Staggered. Both arms are up. We're going to pull that knee in. Crunch down. Let's go. Get right after it. Come on, how many can you get? 30 seconds each side, and then we're gonna switch it up. So the killer total body move. Look at those shoulders, those arms, chest, abs, legs all getting hit. Don't give up. Just keep moving. Keep fighting right here. Let's go, Hasfit Tribe. Grind it out right here. I want you to exceed your own expectations. Okay, guys, switching in five, four, three, two, one, switch. Ooh, I'm sweating in the storm. Let's go. Let's go. No downtime. Right Let's it. go. Opposite side. You know the drill. Moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with. Whatever that looks like, just keep moving. If you need to drop your weight, that's all right. Just don't hit that pause button. Keep pushing. That's right. Keep driving. Almost there. Almost there. Ten, five, four. Three, two, one, zero. Ah, all right. Hand weight down. We're going into that lateral one, two, three. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. Side to side. I'm getting my knees up. Body's keeping the knees a little bit lower. That's right. But I'm still moving. That's it. Come on. Get those arms working together. Opposite arm and leg works at the same time. One leg's coming up, that same side arm is going back. Come on, get that rhythm going. What do you got? Breathe. Come on, fight through more, it. Guys. In five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Nice. All right, pick up your hand weights for the next one if you're using it. Moving into the bent over row, plus fly, double back move here, bent over 45 degree angle, pull back on those elbows, back down, and pull apart in that reverse fly. Alternating between the two moves, and we're off. Again, getting as many repetitions in as you can, making sure to breathe. Again, not about maxing out the weight on this one, it's all about speed. How many can you get right here? Back and forth between the two. Keep that back straight, core stays tight. And Much longer, guys. Making sure to breathe. Don't hold that breath. Let's go. Come on. Fight it out. Fight it out. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right. Keeping my dumbbells for this one. I'm going bow jump rope plus run in place. Little circles with those hands and wrists, just like we're jump roping. Nice little rhythm involved in this one. Running in place, hot feet. How many can? How many steps can you get? Go at your own pace, guys, but challenge yourself. That's it. Come on. This is the last round. Come on, let's go right here, right here. Remember, those who think they can and those who think they can't are both right. Which right. one are you? Right here. Finishing strong. Got to convince yourself. It's all about that mental toughness. Right here, working on it, getting a little stronger. Here we go. In five, four. Three, two, one, and zero. All right, hand reach down if you're using them. Move them to the floor. I'm the mountain climbers. Mountain climber time. Right into it, high point position. You know the drill. Try to eliminate that downtime and just keep moving. Come on, hot feet, hot feet. Core stays tight, back stays straight, and don't stop. Let's go. That's right, keep on moving. Don't stop when it hurts. We're gonna stop when we're done. Come on, finish strong, everybody. Keep going, keep going. Come Almost on. there, fight to the finish. That's it. In three, two, one, and zero. Ah, up on our feet. We are gonna need those hand weights for the next.
last one is moving into that front squat plus push your feet or shoulders apart sit back weight in your hips drive those dumbbells straight up overhead weight goes back in your hips on that squat want to make sure you're keeping those feet flat drive off your heels you don't want to come forward onto your toes making sure to sit back every time anytime you squat you're gonna bend at those hips first bend the knees come on big power right here not much longer guys we're burning too we're right there with you five four three two one and zero all right holding on to those weights Whew. we're gonna bend over punch out punch it out 45 degree angle bend over back stay straight punch a full range of motion all the way down and then pull those hands back come on big power right here speed and power let's go it's a good one to let out all that stress whatever it is it's weighing down weighing you down weighing on your mind let it all go that's it come on work it out right here let's go let's go what you got come on breathe don't hold your breath come on five go. more seconds where you at head spit tribe where you at In three two one zero excellent all right, we're holding on to your hand weights for the next one. I'm doing that full jump roll, either one foot, my version, or both feet at the same time. Either way, nice light touches. I would say, you know, these plyometric jumping exercises, if you have neighbors underneath you, you don't want them to hear you. Yep. Nice, light, soft touches. Keeping a bend in those knees. That's it. If you're doing the one leg, switch. And keep them moving. That's it. Come on. How many touches can you get? Keep it going. There, guys. Come on, burn them out. Right there with you. Come on. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're moving on to a one arm dumbbell snatch. Big power, alternating arms. Weight goes back in the hips into a hang and then pull up on that elbow and flip it up. That's it. Come on. How many can you get right here? Let's go. Time of the workout where it starts getting tough. All about that mental toughness. It's not even about your body anymore. It's not about that burn. It's about your willingness to keep moving forward no matter how bad you want to stop. Let's go right here. In five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, holding on to just one hand for the next one. I'm doing those switch jumps and twists. And I'm doing the step back and twist. You decide which one's right for you. Whew. Keeping good balance. Twisting into that stationary leg if you're doing my version. Getting that core engaged. That's it, come on. Side to side. Making sure to breathe. Whatever you do, not holding your breath. Keep moving, keep fighting. Keep fighting. Everything you got right here. Come on. If you gotta switch to an easier version. 10 seconds. Feel free to do so, but just don't stop. Don't oh. hit that pause button. Finish it strong, right here. Going. Three, two, one, break. I'm picking up that second hand weight. And Claudia's just doing her body weight for an arm crossover and jump. That's right, can you remember if I had weights or not? <laughs> up to you, mix it up. Make it work for you. Come on, let's go. Right here. This is a tough Feel it burning. We're going to finish it strong. And finish it together. That's it. Thousands, maybe millions of us at home feeling that same burn. That's right, guys. You're the feeling. Same. In it together. Come on, don't stop. What do you got right here? Cut everything you got. Five more seconds, guys. Here we go. In three, two, one, zero. Ooh, let's finish strong. That's Pop right. Those arms straight up overhead. And I'm going into that overhead high knee. And I'm doing the march. Overhead oh, march. They're both going to burn. Just don't give up. Let's go right here. Almost there, guys. Remind yourself what you came here for to begin with. What is it? What's it going to take to accomplish that goal? Every day waking up, doing at least one thing to get you closer to it. All right, guys. Five more seconds. Here we go. In five, four, Three, two, one, and zero. Ooh. Nice. That workout kicked my butt. Excellent work, coach. I think it's safe to say I uh, 
Get used a new shirt. That's a good one. All right, we're moving into the cool down, and the purpose of this cool down is to allow your heart rate to come down slowly and at the same time gain some extra mobility. First move is going to be a rotator cuff stretch. Good posture, shoulders are back. Let's take one hand and put it just behind your back. And I'm actually going to modify that a bit and put my hand right here on my hip. Now, a little harder version is to grab your elbow. A little easier version is up here in your arm, just as I was for for you. We're going to gently pull forward on that elbow or that arm. Not a lot of range of motion on this one. And we're just going to hold. It's a static stretch. And any of these static stretches, we're taking them about 85 90 percent of what you're capable of you want to feel a good stretch but we don't want pain we're going to switch sides in three two one zero opposite side now again great one for those rotator cuffs loosen up those shoulders a lot of work in today on them and gently pulling forward you decide if it's better for your hand behind your back or on your hip slightly easier and we're just going to hold it Let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're gonna work our way on over to the wall. But we could also use like a couch or a table for this one. We're gonna do a toe on the wall stretch. So I want you to take your foot and your balls of your feet and place them up on the wall. Now we're gonna bring your knee closer to the wall as we stretch those toes back and you also feel a stretch in the bottom of your foot. This one's stretching your plantar fascia as well as your calves, improving that overall calf and ankle mobility. I tell you, it feels great after all of those uh, faux jump ropes and one, two, three, fours, all those plyo moves for sure. And that's exactly why we're doing it. They're very effective moves, but they can take a lot out of you, so it's important that we also focus on that recovery. And we're going to switch sides in three, two, one. All right, we're going to put that opposite side foot and balls of the feet up on the wall. And we're slowly bringing that knee closer to the wall to feel that stretch in your calf, ankle, and the bottom of your foot. And depending on which one of those three is the tightest is probably where you're going to feel it the most. But it is working in all three areas. And again, it's just a hold. A little static stretch, loosening up that ankle joint. For three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna move to the floor for the last one. We're gonna work on that spine with a little yoga-inspired move. Let's go ahead and slowly come on down to the floor, and we're gonna get into a cobra position. So in a prone position, both uh, feet flat on the ground, palms are facing the earth, are down, and your fingers are facing forward. We're gonna stretch up, look up, and get into that cobra position, bringing that chin up and breathe feel that stretch in your whole anterior abs hip flexors quads and now let's transition back bring those hips back and we're going to sit down into a child's pose this time working the back shoulders quadriceps all getting stretched on this one and just come down as far as you can it may be further than us it may not be as far as us just make it your own Loosen up those shoulders, get those shoulders to stretch as well. Bring that head down. And then let's come back forward. Transition into that cobra. Head up. Squeeze in those glutes. Feel that stretch in your hip flexors and your quadriceps, your abs. Chin is up. Nice, big, deep breaths here. And let's transition back into that child's pose. Nice controlled pace here, controlled breathing. And this is a great time to just take a second to be proud of what you've achieved so far today. If working out were easy, everybody be fit, everybody be in great shape, but they're not. Which is what makes you so special for showing up today and getting a little bit better. One last time, forward into that Cobra. Again, nice, big, relaxing, deep breaths. No matter what the rest of the day brings, you can be proud of yourself that you check this one off your list. Workout is complete. And last one, sitting back in that child's pose. Just a few big deep breaths. In five, four, three, two, one, 
zero. And that's it, folks. Slowly come up. We don't want you to pass out on us. Or just stay down on the ground. Or just stay down. We have to stand, but you know, <laughs> feel free to hang out down there. Thank you so much for working out with us today and pushing it right to the very end. If you enjoyed today's routine, you've been working out with us for a while and hanging out with my sweaty behind, then we encourage you to please go check out our Patreon page. We can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this workout with us today, we ask that you